a wheel fix here. Um, just thought I would bring you a little bit from our live show that talks about Algorand tokenization of property. And on the live show, I went ahead and purchased a couple tokens of land and wanted you to see how easy it is. It's on a site called lofty.ai and I'll put a link in the description and things, but it's really interesting and thought you might wanna see that. So if that interests you in any way, check it out. The thing about it is XRP is gonna get into tokenization. And so that's uh, one of the interests of tokenization is real estate. So check it out, see what you think. This is my Lofty AI account. Let's see, can y'all see that? Yeah, and knowing that, I mean, there's been a lot of requests for you to cover this, so that's cool that you're doing this. Yeah. Um, okay, so what this is, this is this is the marketplace when you log on that shows you properties that you can um, purchase pieces of through tokenization. They're using Algorand. Uh, the interesting thing about it, though, is you wouldn't even know that they're using Algorand. Um, and I'll just tell you the quick purpose um, of tokenization, because you would wonder if you didn't if you didn't think about it, you would wonder, well, why is it tokenization? Why can't I just buy a chunk? Well, by them tokenizing the um, asset, you have a smart contract built in. So here's what happens. Let's look at this. Uh, here's one. Like I own some of this one right here. I bought several tokens of this particular piece of property. So let's look at it. Right now they're 57. I bought it at $50. So see there it says I own four. Yeah. Look at the projected annual return. That's not too shabby. Wow. 23. Mm hmm. Uh, 0.14% projected rental yield, 14. Um, that's projected what it's already done for me. Is there now you see that where it says buy? Oops, let me get that off there. Oh, it's a little bot trying to spam Here, you. Here's how easy, yeah. <laughs> here's how easy it would be for me to purchase more. I would just tap that right there. I would tap buy. Um, now, sometimes it submits and takes a day for approval. Sometimes it's instant. I guess it just depends on the seller. But the 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 token what the tokenization does is when you when you buy a piece, you know, say I bought a couple. Uh, as soon as your transaction is approved, which can be instant or, like I said, in a day or so, you you get uh, a little questionnaire, and it's your vote of how. The property is handled. So they'll ask you, it's probably 15 questions, you know, um, and it's um, multiple choice. So, you know, if the renter is this far behind, do you want to do this, 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 or this? And uh, so you go through, you make your choices. That's recorded in the smart contract. And so now your job's done, you know, so you through tokenization, you've just um, answered all of the questions and made all of your management decisions. Um, you don't have to pay tax on the property. You don't have to keep up with the insurance on the property. You, you don't have to keep up with anything. You, you just sit there and make money, literally. Now, let me go over here. You know, another thing I like about what you mentioned with this, Will, is like, you don't have to be like Mr. Roper or Mr. Furley chasing down people for rent. You know what <laughs> That's I mean? Right. <laughs> Mr. Roper. Yeah, you gotta remember Mr. Roper. Come and knock on my door. That was a... That's my all time favorite TV show, man. If you're, if you're right. wondering anyway. So so here's my account. So you can see here I have eight tokens of this Ohio property. Yeah. Um $386 is the current value. Here's, I got four tokens of the one we just looked at. I have four tokens of this one. Look at this rate down here, 29.5%. So I bought four tokens, 200, 200, 400, $786, right? 
I've owned none of these two months yet. Only five weeks on one, the rest just even just a couple weeks. Now look at my return so far. This is how much I put into it. And look, it's worth $862. So I've earned $75.40. Now I can take some of that out now. I can withdraw or I can add some money in. I can use this to buy some more. That that I've already earned, I could use to buy, you know, a couple more tokens. Um, but think of this. Let, let's move the decimal to the right. So if I move, if I would have put in 8,000 and move, put that decimal right there, I would have made $754. Now I own some rental property. Um, I have, I have one that has rent that I'm charging 750. I'm charging low for this girl. And it's about a, she's a, a waitress that, my wife and I met and she needed some help. Anyway, she's renting um, a, uh, a mobile home that's right on like a little, a little river, beautiful piece of little property, little piece of property in Bradley County, Tennessee. And she pays me seven fifty a month. Okay. Well, I probably got $60,000 in that property. Real cheap. Real, I mean, we got into it really cheap. But look what. $8,000 would have got me that rent. You see that? Now, look, oh, yeah. if, I, if I'd have moved move it two decimals over, if I'd have put $86,000 in this, that's $7,540. In how now, long? Huh? In how long? Probably all total... Let's see if I can find, I don't want to just make something up. So let me see if I got a, no. Gives you like a log. It's okay. I, I was just kind of asking. Oh, well, let me see. Transactions. All right. Oh, 926 is when I bought the first piece. So like not like a little over a month. That's amazing. Yeah. That is so much money. So I'm, I'm waiting to see if, if, uh, you know, there's something wrong with that. I mean, I'm like, really, that is just unbelievable amount of return. And my decisions are already made. Everything's done. There's nothing for me to do. Some of this money is because the tokens went up in price. Let me go here. Let's see. Let's let's look. Let's just scroll through this. This is in my area. This is in Chattanooga right here. This home. Look at this luxury hotel. Ten percent. Look, fifty bucks. Here's hey, one. We were talking about all that. Remember, like, um, you know, buying into hotels like in Dubai. But there's an example, obviously, in your, not necessarily your area, but that's in Tulum, Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. That's another country that, you know, we let's look at that real quick. If you okay. want to own a little piece of that. Wow. 18% return. Let's, let's do something real fast. Let me, let me hit buy. Okay. Let's see how, let's see how easy this is. Where'd I go? Where'd it go? Let's go back. There, there. you go. The top. Yeah, there you go. All right. So order expiration 30 days. It's got my bank account. Let's do custom. Let's just do $105.85. to use algo for instance since it's tied into algo or you don't know no it's um it's using algorand that that was one of the points good question that was one of the points that i was wanting to make that you don't even have to know anything about what token it is there's 
I just, so what happens is I hook that up to my checking account. You can hook your account up and do this in, in 10 minutes. It's, it's very, very fast. And then once it's hooked up, you see how fast that was? Um, I mean, that's what I own now. Now, now probably super fast. hadn't got the questionnaire yet. Um, but you know how we, I had anticipated that tokenization of property would involve the transfer of me doing something on an exchange or something, you know, from Algorand or maybe go to the, I didn't have any idea how it worked. It's working behind the scenes. You just never even know that it's tokenized. They don't tell you. Well, you, you know, when you read, you can learn, but, but that's it. It just looks like you paid because you pay with regular money. Now, like for instance, a platform can be used to tokenize certain things. Like for instance, lofty, I could talk about, for instance, quant, the overledger um, in itself, right. For tokenization, tokenization of CVCs and so on. I think this is an example of Algorand tokenizing the lofty marketplace. And like you said, it's something to be used in the background, for instance. He, that's unique and it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, that was pretty simple. I think everybody was able to see how simple that was. Isn't that just fun how that how that works, though? <laughs> that's just so awesome. Let's see. Here. Oh, no doubt, man. I mean, uh, it's one thing to talk about this stuff, but you're, you're showing people an actual live visualization because you're doing it yourself. And you already have done it apparently in late September. Hey, about that real quick. You know, you have those properties right there. So you have Ohio three property package Akron. That's where LeBron James from, by the way. Um, but only 1.4% on your rental yield. Look at these other ones. Why is such a night and day difference? You know, I, I'm not sure. This one's kind of new. I paid $38 per token. That's yeah, this is the projected yield 11.87. That's just what it's done right now. I have no idea why. Hmm. Maybe it's a state thing, you know, anyway. Yeah. There's the eight tokens. But you get what I'm saying? I mean, your yield on some of those other states is a night and day difference, man. Yeah. Yeah, I just thought this one was interesting because I wanted to see what a three package deal, you know, $38 and I got a little piece of the, each one of those. You I'm know, just playing we'll, around we'll, with it. Well, looking at it from yeah. an outside perspective, like let's say we're one of the audience members right now. Mm -hmm. You know, we understand that you're going to be mining Caspa soon. And, um, you know, you, you obviously you're going to have to wait a little bit longer on that because you had to send it to wherever. But what I was going to state is in some circumstances, some person from the outside could look at this and say, well, to heck with that. I'm not going to be mining. I'd rather just do this. And I'd be kind of with them on that. You know what I mean? Because it's like, yeah. wow, look how lucrative this is, you know? Well, the thing... The thing that, uh, you know, you had mentioned, wow, that might be a cool exit strategy. You know, some of this coin pops and somebody takes some early money out, you yes. know, like third. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm going to dump some in here. I'd like to get at least, you know, maybe 20,000 in there. Yeah. I'm glad you bring that back up because, you know, we do talk about the future and for some of us, we have a plan. And I think this is a, a great way to earn, you know, a yield, obviously, on uh, our future income, you know. Let's scroll through here just real fast. There's a 13.6%, 14% annual return. I don't know why the difference is. I just see them. Well, here's another one that's in Ohio. Can you go down to the lower right on that particular one? I want to see if it's a low interest rate. No, it's not. See, that one has that's a higher interest rate. Own. Well, all of a sudden it's shot up on the interest rate. That's weird. Well, it, what it's showing is what I returned. I've only owned that for, you know, a week or so. 
Oh, so, okay. Now that makes sense now. And it's okay. paying it yeah. proportionally. You know, I was telling you the home we uh, you were uh, talking about how you had some investment decisions that you were sharing with your dad about properties that were going to hit a hundred years old. And then it was going to become a, uh, um, um, what is it? Historical value. Yeah. Historic district. Yeah, I had that conversation when, back in the late nineties when I was a, like a kid. So you didn't take me too serious, but it's okay. I don't hold it against them. But you know, there's $40 who, who, who has $40. Here's 37, 37, there's $34. You can put $34 and, you know, do $34 a week, you know, <laughs> right. what's $34 a week times 52 weeks. So I was reading a comment. Um, can we pull that up for you? So 52 no, I, weeks I, times I, what? Yeah. I'm just kind of thinking out loud. I'm not, uh, I could pull it up for you. 52 times what? Well, thirty-four dollars times ten is three forty. So it'd be times fifty-two. Three thousand four hundred. Would it be fifteen? Well, three forty times fifty would be seventeen thousand. But okay. Oh, Illinois, Ohio. Oh, we had Tennessee, Iowa, Michigan, uh, Missouri. Word. Uh, Mikey G, how are the yields calculated? What are the considerations? Do you have an answer for that? Um, I'm sure there's an answer on here. Probably has to do with what the owner is willing to do to draw people into the money. This is them getting money out of their equity without having to get a loan, you know, with the bank. So uh, let's see if we have. Uh... But back to what you just said real quick. You know, this whole concept in crypto of being, you know, us being our own bank. Like, then there's this, and it's just like us being our own what? More than just the bank. You're not even yeah. having the banks involved anymore. You know, so many people go to a bank for a loan. Yeah. You know, this is another yeah. thing of becoming your own bank to a sense. All so, right. well, uh, we spent some time on that. How did y'all like that? Is that not, to me, it's so fascinating. You know, there it is actually working.